us repeat together the fourth commandment that's found in Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and earth, the sea and all there is in the midst, and rest the Sabbath day. Wherefore, the Lord, bless the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful. Lord, we are so thankful for this day of rest that you have given us. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit will be here with us today. As our mind different, so do our need. We ask, Lord, that you will minister to our needs today and that we can say that it was good for us, each of us, to be in the house of the Lord. It's my prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. everyone. Good Happy Sabbath. Happy Please turn in your hymnals to hymn number 124. Away in a manger. As the Christmas season comes to an end, we never want to forget what Christ did for us. The sacrifice that he made by giving up his riches and glory to become like one of us and to die for us when he didn't deserve to die at all. If you are happy about that sacrifice, say amen. Amen. of God. It's good to see everyone out on this, the last Sabbath of 2013, and I want to welcome you to the service today. I pray that you will find what you come seeking. We have just um, two announcements, and the first comes from our Sabbath school superintendent, and then Stewart. Good morning, family of God. I came to you last week and I mentioned briefly, Elder Luckett was here, we talked about the Sabbath school will be leading out for evangelism in the year of 2014. And our theme is everyone bring one. 
We're not asking you to give Bible studies, but we are asking you to invite people to Sabbath school. Uh, I'd like to call your attention right now to the third page in your church bulletin. It's the page just before the announcements. The title of the page is Be Kind to Someone Today. Uh, just br go to that page. You don't have to read it right now. But I want you to know that every Sabbath, for the next several months, we're going to have information on this page from the Sabbath school preparing us for 2014 evangelism. Elder Luckett and myself with the Sabbath School Council will be sitting down the second Wednesday in January to make plans for evangelism. We invite all of us to become involved. You heard Nuyana's testimony if you were here for Sabbath School today, how God has blessed her with a job since she came. She's gotten a car since she came. Her marital situation has changed since she came. And so many of you have reached out to her to help her. So what we want to do is duplicate that in 2014. Imagine how many people's lives we can touch through evangelism, through the Sabbath school, if we would reach out and just invite somebody. And then as they come, we can shower God's blessings as he blesses us. So please help us pray about it. And above all, let's ask people to come and worship with us. Thank you. Good morning, church family. Uh, I would like, this announcement is for all community service persons. We will have a brief meeting up front. A very, very brief, I promise you. Um, if you will meet me after church up front, I greatly appreciate it. Um, the van ministry, those that ride the van, I've already talked to the driver. They will wait for a few minutes, and that's all it's going to take. It's just a few minutes. Um, secondly, I'd like to announce one of our new members, Rhonda Ware, had her baby December 22nd. Um, hold on, see. Can we pull up the picture? No. No. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Hopefully we can get that taken care of by maybe next Sabbath. Okay, anyways, her name is Jakari. No, her name is Arena Jakari Garnett. And hopefully we'll have the picture for you next Sabbath. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other announcements? Okay, the program would... I have a note here. Thank you for all the well-wishing support and love from our church family during the birth of our son. It truly warms our hearts to have you all share this special time with us. And this comes from the Jenkins family, Rodney, Katura, Eleanor, and Colin. Amen. Amen. Um, this is a card from the, the Shecklett family, and they say from Jam Jamer Shecklett and Mr. Jamer Shecklett, plus Ken um, Breckenridge, I can't see the last name. Um, Buddy, James, and Ken Shecklett. Oh, Shecklett, okay. Um, they're, very, they're very appreciative with love, and they just want to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Good morning, Magazine. How's everybody doing this Sabbath? 
If we have any visitors, can you just raise your hand in the air? Any visitors this holiday season? A lot of us are out of town or maybe have some guests. We have some visitors. Oh, praise the Lord. Two visitors. Amen. How do we make our visitors feel welcome? I happen to know those two visitors, so they better raise their hand. Amen. Amen. Well, now's the time we will just give each other a nice holy hug and kiss and greet everyone and just say amen in the name of the Lord. Amen. amen. Faithful is our God. Faithful, faithful, faithful is our God. Faithful, faithful, faithful is our God. 